One thing they asked us to look at on the college level math test is to evaluate odd and even numbers. So let's just take an example where you know that your starting variable m is even. Let's plug it into these formulas to evaluate if the result is even or odd. Here in this first case, what will we get? Well, imagine that if you had 2 times 2, that gives us 4, minus 1, what is that? Well, that's 3. And let's just test another even case. If I had 2 times 6, I get 12, and minus 1 gives me 11. And that makes sense, right? Because if you take an even number and multiply it by 2, with another even number, you're going to get an even number right? Because all even numbers are multiples of 2, so taking any even number that's already a multiple of 2 and multiplying it by 2, another even number, has to give you another even number. And then any even number minus 1 has to be odd, because every odd number sits right above or below an even number. So here we're going to get all odd numbers. In this case, we're also going to get all odd numbers because odd numbers, again, sit above or below even. So if we're doubling an, an odd number and we add 1, we'll have to, doubling an even number we'll have to, and then adding 1, we'll have to add an odd number. In the next case, we're squaring an even number. So for example, 2 squared becomes 4, and then we're taking 2 away, which becomes what? Well, 2. And this is always going to be even as well. And I guess the reasoning here is almost similar. We're squaring an even number. So even times an even. And that's an even. And then we're taking that and we're taking away an even. Well, what is an even minus an even? Well, think about it. Four, six times minus four is two. Eight minus four is four. Um, you're always going to create gaps of even numbers. So here, when we square the even number, we get even. Taking the even number away, we get another even. Now the same reasoning is here. m squared plus m has to also be even because we're just adding even amounts to even numbers. And last, this has to be odd. Why? Well, this we've already established is even based on our conclusions from these two cases. And now we're adding 1 to that. Well, that has to give us an odd amount because we're always going well, 1 above or below an even result. Now let's assume that m is odd. So here, we're going to square an odd number and then add 1. So what happens when we square odd numbers? Well, look at 3 times 3. What do we get? We get 9. Let's try another one. 5 times 5. We get 25. And you can see that taking two odd numbers and multiplying them still gives us an odd number. And that makes sense. Because remember, even numbers, all they are is multiples of 2. When you take odd numbers and multiply them by more odd numbers, you're never introducing the, the factor of 2, which is what you need to make an even number. So here, this is going to make another odd number, and then we're going to add 1 to that odd number, and that gives us an even, because every even is 1 above an odd. So this is even. Here, this is also even, because now we're taking odds and taking 1 away. What about these cases right here? Well, m squared, as we have already established, gives us an odd. And then we're subtracting an odd from an odd number. So, for example, uh, 9 minus 3, or, um, sorry, 17 minus 6. And here, you might notice, oh, sorry, 17 minus 7. What's then going to happen is that you always get an even amount. And I, I think you can play with that one to figure it out. And here, you're also always going to get an even amount. Square an odd number, you still have an odd number. Add an odd amount to that. For example, 5 times 5, 25, plus 5, gives us 30. Um, and we, that's even. So here, what can we do? Well, we know that this is going to be even in amount, and then we're adding 1. So this has to be odd. Remember that odd and even numbers just sit right above and below each other. If we look at the way numbers are, we have 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. It just alternates. So 0 is even, 1 is odd, 2 is even, 3 is odd, and so forth. So they're always either one above or below each other. All right, hope that helped.